Keep it going for Ryan, everybody. Ryan! Hey, uh, can, can everyone see my pants? You see my pants, everybody? What do you call this type of pants? Khaki. Khakis? Okay, that's what my girlfriend said. Khakis. Anybody here call them butterscotch legs? <laughs> butterscotch legs, anybody? <sighs> oh, I need to apologize to my girlfriend. <laughs> because I insisted that everyone calls them butterscotch legs and I really freaked out and I uh, broke a wedding picture of her parents. <laughs> but you know, like the saying, let's all throw on our butterscotch legs and go have club sodas with the boys. <laughs> Come on, maybe I screwed up a couple words, but you know the saying I'm talking about. <laughs> club sodas with the boys, butterscotch legs. <laughs> What, am I nuts? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, um, I had to wear these pants for that joke. <laughs> uh, but they are not the pants that I wanted to wear for this show. So if you just, if you can just hold on. Let's do, uh, can do a quick change here. You know how it is. Sorry, I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, 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 freak out. Okay, guys, stay in your pants, it's cool. I just want to throw on the old show pants. You know how it is. <laughs> We're sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay. It is almost joke time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it is almost joke time. Okay. Okay, this sucks because um, I just realized that uh, I wore special shoes that would come off easily to change my pants, and uh, they're not looking great with these pants, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to the old pants real quick. You guys will just, just hold on. I'm sorry, I know a lot of you can't even see the shoes, but it's for me, I really, uh, I just really want this show to be the best show, you know? Yeah. I'm sorry about this. I'm really, uh, this is very unprofessional, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that this is happening. When you drop your bubble low, girl, I give it up and I clap. When you crawling on the floor, girl, I clap. Get your money, baby. Get it. Get your money, baby. Get it. Get your money. Yeah, we're just going to keep these pants on. <laughs> your boxers don't go. Sorry? Your boxers don't go. Okay, great. <laughs> That's cool. I don't really need my boxers to go, though, because they're just under my pants, so... That's cool. Hey, I know you guys are all looking at me, and you're like, wait a minute, is this guy's whole deal that he's a tall baby? Because I'm shaped like a baby, right? And, of course, I have this baby nose. You know how when you're little, you have a baby nose, and somewhere along the way, that nose falls off, and you get your adult nose? Well, that didn't happen to me, so I still got this guy. It's okay, it makes me a very rare breed. I'm a truly adorable man. It gives me magic powers like a baby or a puppy or a teddy bear. Basically, most girls like me like the maximum amount you can like something without wanting to have sex with it, so. The maximum amount, though, that's pretty good. I, uh... I'm like a live action Winnie the Pooh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My brother asked me one time what I did during the day and I was like, you know, I'm like Winnie the Pooh. I just sort of wander around discovering things, <laughs> seeking out sweets, getting trapped in places. <laughs> hey, do you know how many balloons is too many balloons? I do, I got stuck in a tree that time. <laughs> Uh, speaking about bears, I'm going to talk to you about koala bears for a minute. Um, I don't know if you know this about the koala bear, but the koala bear used to be an omnivore, which meant that it ate everything, right? But somewhere along the way, it tried eucalyptus leaves and said, okay, this forever. <laughs> and I don't get that, because I've had a cheeseburger before that was so fucking good that I was like, oh my god, yes, only cheeseburgers, baby. Yeah, I could do just cheeseburgers, but then I remembered about pizza, right? <laughs> but them, eucalyptus, that's it. 
And here's the other thing. They cannot get enough energy from a eucalyptus leaf to even be a koala bear. <laughs> which is why they're awake for about 17 minutes a day. <laughs> here's my impression of a koala bear. Hey, koala bear, look, man, you got to eat this cheeseburger. This is protein. You need this. Please, please, just try it by... I think there's some eucalyptus over there. I'm just gonna have that when I get up. Oh no, come on buddy, look. Look, here's what I've done. I've, I've put a steak in between two eucalyptus leaves. You are gonna love this sandwich. You need this sandwich in your life, please. Okay, I don't know if you guys got the moral of that joke. He said, my girlfriend's an idiot for being a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, I have a girlfriend, and she likes to say things like, hey, when are you going to tell jokes about me? I'm like, okay, I don't think you know how jokes work. <laughs> because they hurt people. But if you want, I'll go up to the vegetarian thing for sure. She's a vegetarian, but here's the kicker. She sometimes eats gravy. <laughs> Not really a defense for that. You can't be like, hey, look, I think you're a terrible person because you're going to kill that animal and then cook it and eat it. But if you are going to do that, <laughs> if I could have some of the juices to make my fries taste better, I don't think they have feelings in their juices. <laughs> Guys, I have a dog named Chicken. <laughs> yeah, I do. I have a dog named Chicken. This is the result of two mistakes I've made in my life, but it's true. And uh, one time I ordered KFC to the house. And when the man came to the door, uh, I answered the door. And before I had any kind of verbal interaction with the gentleman, my dog just bolted out past the guy. So the first thing that man heard me say was, Chicken! <laughs> I thought I was pretty excited about my dinner, I think. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you guys this hilarious joke um, about a, like a super, like a flaming gay guy who shows up at a, uh, at a gunfight in the Old West. Wait a minute, hold on. Everyone here is cool with gay people, right? No, no, I mean it. Everyone's cool, right? 2011, let's hear some applause. Everybody's cool, right? Right? Oh, no, wait, no, if everyone's cool, they have to change this joke a bit. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so, um, I guess he showed up and then, and then just everybody liked him and they decided not to fight. <laughs> <sighs> That's not as good. Uh, not as good. Um, Guys, here's my impression of a six-year-old boy who's allergic to raisins. There's a six-year-old boy who's allergic to raisins. <clears throat> I'm allergic to raisins, but I don't know why I'm not allergic to grapes. <laughs> you don't need a decoder ring for that one. That is, that is just as stupid as it sounds. I'm, I'm sorry that that had to happen to us. <laughs> Guys, they are making a Superman movie this year, and, uh, and I love Superman, and I would really, really, really love to be in this movie. Uh, okay, I know that I'm not going to get cast as Superman, so don't come up to me after the show and go, hey, buddy, maybe they, they'll go another way. Because do you know how many people would be angry on the internet if I got cast as Superman? I would learn all of the ways to say fat and gay and all of the ways that 13-year-olds spell those words. <laughs> but they're making a movie, and I figured there's got to be another way for me to get into this movie. So I figured out some little scenes that I could play, some characters that I could play in this movie, uh, and I want to do them for you guys. You, you guys want to see that? Cool. Okay, okay. Here's the first one, and the first one, you know how in every Superman movie there's that scene? that scene where they're like, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman, right? I don't know why they do that scene because why is that first guy pointing at a bird, right? 
but they always do it, uh, so they'll do it again. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman, and then I could be a guy who just bought a hot dog from a hot dog vendor. When they're like, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. I'll be like, it's Superman. And then this guy will be like, yeah, okay, but I just said that, though, right? <laughs> be like, oh, you did? Oh, sorry, I have a very farty ketchup bottle. I didn't hear you. <laughs> Let's just say we're both right. <laughs> so that's one scene I could do. That's the first one. <laughs> uh, okay, in this one, I play a janitor in a big office tower, okay? I'm a janitor in a big office tower, and Superman and some crazy, like, villain from Krypton are having a huge sky fight and just leveling Metropolis, right? They're just ruining it, and in this scene, Superman and this villain come crashing through the building that I'm mopping in. They come crashing through one side and straight out the other side while I mop. Okay, so here it is. I'm a janitor. I'm mopping. Here we go. Okay, and then there's, um, here's another scene. Uh, this one takes place at a pizzeria. And in this scene, I'm just a guy ordering pizza. Uh, well, Superman, not dressed like Superman, so Clark Kent and Lois Lane are in a date right behind me, okay? I'm just a guy trying to order pizza. Here we go. You don't have any pepperoni, eh? No? You got any coming out, or...? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I just had my heart set on pepperoni, you know? You know how it is. <sighs> so you know what? I'm good. So. Uh, so if anyone here is the director, Zack Snyder, please talk to me after the show. I will be auditioning for that every night, everywhere I go. So, um... <laughs> Guys, one time I was at home, and it was late at night, and I didn't have any pants on. You know what that looks like now. Um, I didn't have any pants on, but somebody came to the door, and, uh, and the first thing I thought was, oh my God, pants, right? But something happened between the couch and the door because I answered the door still holding the pants in my hand. I think it's important to give the impression of pants. Just be like, oh, don't worry about me, buddy. I know about pants, okay? Chicken! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave you guys on this. Um, this is more just advice uh, than it is a, a joke. So if this is, uh, and it's not for everybody, so this, if this is for you, please listen up. Uh, if, this is, if this advice is not for you, you can just tune out, but for God's sakes, be quiet. Okay, so um, if you are a waitress, okay, if you're a waitress, keep listening. If you're not, don't worry about it. If you're a waitress in a small diner, I hope you're still with me if you're in the room or watching at home. If you're a waitress in a small diner in Northern Ontario, please keep listening. <laughs> and if you brought me what I can only describe as a, a mediocre BLT, and I am, oh, I am being polite. That was, <laughs> oh, 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 that was not good. I have had some terrible sandwiches. I've made some, but, uh, I paid for that one, and that was an insult. But um, if you brought me that, and then for some reason, even though I said I didn't want dessert, you convinced me to get dessert. Okay, I get it. Not that hard. Um, <laughs> and then you bring it to me, and it turns out that the only dessert that you have on your menu is what I can only describe as a lettuce cupcake? <laughs> 
Because it's shaped like a cupcake, but it's stuffed with lettuce. <laughs> and you bring it to me, and I'm like, what? And I eat it, and I love it for some reason. I love that cupcake. If you were this person, then you were a character in a dream I had. <laughs> and sometimes your boobs flash different colors. And your parents are motorcycles, so watch out for that. I'm Pat Thorne. Have a great night.